Hi, my name is Rama. I'm the NDIS account manager for GCC. Today, I'll be doing a quick short video on how to complete this midterm form. It's a simple five step process that we require to capture some changes and growth within your organization, as this will also give the auditor a quick overview of the type of services being delivered. Uh, you can certainly find the link to this video along with plenty of useful information in our website. If you simply just go to gccertification.com uh, and in our NDIS tab, there are information on verification level, certification and midterms. Um, and you'll, there, you'll see the step-by-step -step process guides, videos, and plenty of information that will help you uh, through the process. So if we go back to the form, um, so step one, uh, basically it's the link to your NDIS portal. Uh, it's, it's, this will be the approved registration group services that you already have. It's good to have a copy of this as you will also need it for step three. Uh, step two is basically your key personnel and personnel changes. Uh, so if I used myself as an example here, so key personnel, if I was the director, first name, last name, email address and contact number. Uh, and if I had an operations manager, same thing, uh, first name, last name and the title. Uh, I've used GCC head office as an example here for the address head office and the seal sites. So head office and including all of the seal sites you would add here. Uh, next step will be the uh, key personnels and including all the workers. So the key personnels will include uh, these two personnel that you've added here um, and all of the other workers. Uh, so next step would be the participant numbers. So it's important to remember and to include all self-managed, plan-managed and NDIA managed participants as this is a requirement for the NDIS. Uh, step three is probably the most simplest. Um, so I've used some examples here. Um, again, if you have a copy of your registration group, just go along with that. Um, 101, if I had this registration group, I'm keeping it and I've got no participants. 103, I have this registration group, but I'm not providing any services, so I'm removing it. Um, 104, I'm planning to provide services in the near future, so I'm adding this service. Um, so the next example is 106, support coordination. I am providing the service, I'm keeping it, and I've got five participants. Uh, again, same thing, next one, personal activities, 107, I'm keeping it, and I've got seven participants already. Uh, the other example would be if I'm adding 108, transport arrangement, I'm adding this service, and I've got two participants. Uh, so to simply just go through these registration groups, it's either simply here, add, keep or remove, and then the participant numbers next to it. Uh, step four is pretty simple as well. Uh, waste management and medication management, you are either keeping them um, or you would like to add them or remove them. So just simply add here. Uh, the next step is the module 2A, implementation of restrictive practices. So simply, again, you would either keeping it and the number of participants that you already have, or you would like to add it, um, and then if you have any participants, or uh, zero. Uh, so lucky last is the if GCC has done your previous audit. If yes, uh, that's fine. If no, we will need to get your previous audit reports along with their certificate of registration, as we will need to follow a transfer process uh, as per the NDIS commission. Uh, that's all for the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Um, or if you have any concerns. Thank you. Bye.